Russian forces invaded Ukraine by land, air and sea on Thursday in the biggest attack by one state against another in Europe since World War II. Russian missiles rain Ukrainian, Ukrainian cities and Ukraine reported columns of troops pouring across its borders into the eastern regions. Explosions heard in Kyiv and across Ukraine. Ukraine's president says he and his people will fight for the country following the Russian invasion overnight. He said weapons would be issued to any Ukrainian who wanted one and appealed for blood for wounded for wounded, wounded soldiers. The enemy had suffered serious losses, he added. Ukraine has claimed the killings of around 50 Russian occupiers, reported foreign media. U.S. banks were well prepared for the Western sanctions announced so far over Russia's aggression towards Ukraine. But they are still nailing down details and worried that new measures could increase the cost and complexity of enforcing the new restrictions, lawyers and industry executives said. Oil prices broke above $100 a barrel for the first time since 2014. Stock markets slumped and the ruble hit a record low on Thursday. After Russian Putin, Putin, Putin launched an invasion of Ukraine, Russian and Ukraine markets went in free fall. Lithuania's president declared a state of emergency on Thursday, telling the NATO country's army to deploy along its borders in response to possible disturbances and provocations due to large military forces massed in Russia and Belarus. The state of emergency, declared hours after Russian forces invaded Ukraine, will be valid for two weeks. NATO said on Thursday it would take new deterrence and defense steps after Russia launched an invasion of Ukraine, which would include putting over 100 warplanes on high alert and further dozens of, dozens of, dozens of troops on its eastern flank. NATO Secretary General said there would be a virtual emergency summit of the alliance's 30 nations on Friday. The European Union will hold Moscow accountable for the unjustified attack on Ukraine, the chief of the bloc's executive commission said on Thursday. In these dark hour thoughts thoughts are with Ukraine and the innocent women, men and children as they face this unprovoked attack and fear for their lives, she said. Prime Minister Imran Khan met Russian President Vladimir Putin on his two-day visit to Russia with both leaders discussed bilateral relations and other important matters. The three-hour three hour, three hour long meeting comes amid the Russia-Ukraine crisis. PM Imran Khan also discussed issues including economic cooperation hours. U.S. State Department spokesperson responded to a question related to Prime Minister Imran Khan's Russia visit, stating that we believe it's the responsibility of every responsible country around the world to voice concern and to voice objection to what Putin appears to have in mind for Ukraine. Price said that the U.S. views the partnership with the prosperous, democratic Pakistan as critical to its interests. A local court in Islamabad has sentenced Zahir Jaffa to death for the murder of Naomi Kadim after a long-drawn trial of over four months. The gardener and security guard at Zahir's house have been sentenced to 10 years in prison each. Pakistan reports 1,455 new COVID-19 cases during last 24 hours. Country's daily COVID-19 death toll dropically is only 18 deaths reported overnight. According to NCOC, positivity ratio surges to 3.4%. Gold prices in Pakistan Thursday surged over 2.67% to 130,300 rupees per till as Russia's invasion of Ukraine ratcheted up fears of a and drove and drove, drove investors away from riskier assets and into safe havens. 
Pakistan all-rounder Mohamed Nawaz has been ruled out of next month's three-test home series against Australia due to a foot injury and will not be replaced in the squad, the country's cricket board said. The Chicxilub asteroid that ended the reign of the dinosaurs 66 million years ago is one of the most momentous impact disasters in Earth's history, and scientists have now identified the time of year when this deadly event took place. New evidence suggests the asteroid hit in the spring for the Northern Hemisphere, and that timing appears to have had consequences for how quickly different species recovered.